perhaps all dragons in our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us act just once with beauty and courage. Perhaps everything that frightens us is in its deepest essence something hopeless that wants our love. Greater would be only.
not to the king. But the king was dead. But the king. Like the queen. The king was dead. They were on their own. And, and the, the nursemaid ran the house. The three king's sons. One had light brown hair. One had black hair. One had braided hair. The three king's sons lived their lives. They lived their lives. Were happily living their lives. Getting up in the morning. Greeting the day. Shaking hands. And combing their hair. Going, going about all their princely tasks. Visiting their horses and their charioteers. Uh, buying the paintings and eating food. Looking at things. And looking away. Searching, searching for their keys and tying up their shoes and their ties. And making interesting comments. And, and checking, checking the mail for interesting news. And feeling big things about a lot of different, different things. things. And seeing a bit of dust on the floor.
supposed to last seven days. Don't kill us. It lasted 17 years. Oh no, don't kill us. Those princes went off to war and left those three queens alone with the dreaded nursemaid. Mother, ambassador, I hate those three queens. Father, I hate them with a passion. Who's there? Take those three queens to the mountain. But we must go back to fishing in the streams. And kill them there. And bring me back their eyes as proof that they are dead. Don't, Don't kill, kill us. us. We'll say they had an accident. And I will run the house again. Oh no. Don't kill us. See? We have torn our own eyes out. Leave us on this mountainside. We can live on this mountainside without our eyes. And Master, we are no longer three. Soon we will be six. Take out our eyes to nurse me and tell her we are dead.
time, there was a princess who wouldn't laugh.
your hands up. I need a suggestion. You, give me one. Me? Yes. Uh, uh, ducks on a Tuesday. <gasps> Thank you.
will you marry me? No, Mr. James! <laughs>
you're just bad. And you, Jack, you're the worst of them all. I'm going back to my book now. Once upon a time, there was a man with seven sons and one daughter. The sons were young and loud, and one day they were younger and louder than usual. The father, losing patience, uttered this curse. I wish all my sons were swans. And immediately, they are. Stepmother? 
or other or spring turn to summer, turn to fall, turn to winter. Spring turn into summer, into fall, into winter. Why does she not speak? <laughs> it, it was she has eaten up her son. She must be a witch. It is impossible. I'm sorry, said the king. He sentenced the silent daughter to death for the destruction of her children. She could not say a word in her defense. Now it happened that the day set for her execution was the last day of the seventh year of her silence. All the jackets of Master Flower were finished but one, which was lacking one sleep. The wicked mother-in-law had come to drag her up, up to the scaffolding where she was to die. last yellow rays of the setting sun, there was a great rustle of wings heard overhead. It was her brother.
not. Anyway, so she, um, she ran away from her father. That's right. Will you come to my castle with me? Wait a minute. Yes. Did you hear something? What? Where are your parents? It's nothing for her. Dead. My parents are both dead. What? It's nothing. She always thinks she hears her father calling her. Come to my castle and work in my kitchen. So anyway, this other king says, Laura, blah, 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 I'll take you to my castle and you can work in the kitchen. Because he doesn't know she's a princess and she won't. Hey, guess how long since I washed my hair? One week. Ew! Come on, ignore her. Shut up! Dick off! So they go to the castle and she's shut up there and she works there for the, for the mean cook who's really, really mean and stupid and ugly. And so she's shut up there and she works there. And then, um... They're going to have a ball, the king is, and she makes a soup. Uh, wait, be quiet. He's not calling you. Because he hates you. Anyway, listen. So, so she's living in the um castle in the little tea room, and she wears her ugly normal clothes. But every Sunday, she goes up to the little tea room and takes out her princess dresses because she misses them. Yeah, look at your skirt. Say, uh, look at your skirt. Look at the skirt! I don't feel like it. Come on. No, why not? Because it's stupid. You're stupid. And she puts it on and she feels pretty. No, that's not it. What now? Sophia, I think I heard something too. No, you didn't. Be quiet. You did not. So it's the next Sunday she's trying on her second dress and she's like the moon, but what she doesn't know is that the cave. Sophia has seen her. Sophia, I think there's something in the corner. See her? No. In the corner. I don't like this room. It's your shadow, Zaya. It's your very own shadow from the lamp. Oh.
embrace him and kiss him, and he will be. It will hurt. Say you don't know. Transformed. Something hopeless that wants our love. Rainer Maria Rilke. 